or 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 burn a couple deer corpse 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 Christmas tree run it through the tunnel fall face first into Matt Chen's wide open elbow oh 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 Gelb face oh Derek's standing in the background awkwardly playing shitty music into someone's ear and they're clearly getting mad and he's just smiling and smiling and laughing silently like he always does and then he does that thing yeah just remember okay just remember where you came from all right you came right out of my fucking left nut okay i am your father and when i tell you to go clean the domicile you take your little briefcase of shoe shining sponges out there and you clean up the fucking domicile all right listen we're gonna build a wall it's gonna be huge Huge, 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 huge. So what you doing for the holiday, though? A little bit of holiday blaze. A little bit of... I went into Dunkin' Donuts and I ordered two and they threw me out. I don't get why. I thought it was right there on the menu. I saw a Blumkin' Donut right there. Yep. Walking around my house, just... Fucking got a crab stuff in my nut sack. It's been here for two days. The doctor said to just swing it in a circle till it comes off. It's just turning my nuts blue. I figured the doctor would tell me what to do and know what to do, but he was he was mistaken when he said it would come off just by swinging it in a circle. <laughs> Build up the resistance muscle. <laughs> I don't think that's what it's gonna do. <laughs> I, I think that's one thing to tell you not to do. But what if the E. coli just starts going into your system somehow? <laughs> what happens? How do you? How's it feel to have a cola in your system? Well, we all do. So. Oh, you're disgusting. You so yeah, man, we're about to get a great workout on. Say hello to the, all the fans. Yo, leg day today. Nice. You? Uh, probably gonna do a bit of bench press. Nice, dude. So what do you have to say to everybody? Um, the best water right here. Will was saying that you only drink out of water bottles. That's true. I don't want to die from poisoning from the water. Because of the... What is it called? He's going to be here on the 23rd. Dude, look. Perfect. Thank you. Graduation. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Bikes, man. Hikes in the bikes. I'd rather get my home down and go hiking. Y'all can have there as well. Alright. All right. No drug use allowed here. What are you doing? Sorry, bro. I'm no very dirty. Can't even... He's using drugs over here. Bro, seriously? The steroids aren't even hiking dust this day. What? I'm not saying this shit on camera. <laughs> you always want to record personal, like, it's not even personal, but like, just stuff. That... It's funny. Yeah, it's funny, but no one's going to understand otherwise. If you explain it, they will. No. Because people are familiar with I don't, our friends and I'm everything. just always afraid that the wrong person sees it, bro. Like, so if basically... you were to watch the videos, then you'd say, wow, what a cock. Like, <laughs> that's why I'm always, all these stories I tell you, I, tr I always like to make sure you're not fucking recording this. Wow, way to, way to be, uh... Alright, see you, Octavius. Fuck yourself. You ask me fucking stupid shit, and then you'd be playing that new alternative rock station that's horrible. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. There the goes the Cummins, dude. He just drove down that road. What the heck? Alright, so we just made it here to Mike's, just waiting on him, just being all slow and whatnot. Man, I tell you what, those 5.9s sound so much different than a 6.7, they're just, I, I think they're just the engine alone, the tone of the engine is so much louder. Is there a guy who drives a blue Cummins in your neighborhood with two Cummins stickers on the back? With no a big idea. beard? Because I saw him at the Cedar Cliff, the, the one gas station right there, the Gulf, and mm -hmm. I, he just passed me here, too. Hmm. I don't know, dude. I've never seen one. Maybe he lives on, like, one of those, uh, 
cul-de-sacs or whatever. See? It's the way to go. You ready for this, Quetzalcoatl? Sure. Alright, I guess I'll stand here and you wait for you to unload. Dude. Alright, let me hop off there. Damn, your tires are low on tread, dude. Dude, so it's going to be quite an adventure. It's be 40 miles. Yo, wait up, man. It's pretty cold out. What kind of horsepower? So how's the feel to be a Pennsylvanian for all the you people? Bring that fucking camera, dude. Are you serious? Backpack on, and you have that camera. You just gotta live a little, man. Holy cow, look at the entrance on that. That's awesome. Alright, so, about to ride on this busy road for a while until we get close to there, then I'll up to you. We just biked over a mountain, I don't even, a couple miles, and then over a mountain, down a mountain, and now we're on the back on that dirt road that I was on before when we off road and I got stuck. We haven't even made it to that tree yet, but it's right down there, probably right around that bend. But what are your thoughts so far about this trip, Mike? I had to walk up a mountain. It sucked. That was actually a lot steeper than I thought. I don't even remember going over that whenever I drove here. I guess I probably went a different route. But this is literally in the middle of Even when you're on the road out there, it's still basically the middle of nowhere. There's some crazy stuff to see people with horses and big garages and old vehicles. We even saw, what, what year car was that that drove by? It was like in the 30s or 40s. Yeah, I think we actually went back in time, so what I'm holding right now is some futuristic technology. Yeah. So, we just made it back down to where the tree was, and guess what, Mike? What? <laughs> they, cut the, they cut the tree that was down. As you can see, that's it right there. And I wasn't able to pass it the sill, but now it's gone. Whoa. Nonchalant. We just made it down here and there. That car that I saw here before is actually abandoned. We found an abandoned car, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh. See, and you didn't want to come here, dude. This isn't that old. Is that PA inspection now? 17? It's not that old, dude. What happened to this? Dude, someone probably stole this and just ditched it here. Probably. I don't know, dude. You found a... Yo, yo, yo. What? Thumbnail. <laughs> yo, we found an abandoned car right here. Oh my gosh. Dude. I always post, I always take pictures on Snapchat, but I always regret it. I want to take real photos. Hey, dude, this is literally sketchy. That car is not from this state. Oh my gosh. Well, at least they blacked out the bump, right? Good for them. 
The end, it's actually, this actually looks like it would be a good fishing spot, too. It's so sketchy, man. Alright, so... This, uh, this car here is really sketchy, man. They did paint the bumper, didn't they? Look at that, it reminds me of when I pee in the sulf. So this has been sitting here for about a year, but they stripped it all to nothing. I think the engine's still here. Yeah. It's really bad looking now, though. So I don't see why they would do this, man. There's the car. Let me get down here to get you an angle of it. So it's kind of modified. You got black taillights. It's all busted out. I did open the door. But it's kind of sketchy, man. Here's the inside. Uh, it smells, smells pretty bad. Oh, man. I feel like I'm one of those explorer channels, you know what I mean? I explore those random places way out there. That's what I was saying to Mike. Oh, there's the top. I've never, I've never experienced something like this before. I've always just, I don't know. I've never explored random places like this way out in the middle of nowhere. But I am doing it now. You all right down there? Every every place that we go to fish always has something there. All the places we go to, they either have a house, a business, something industrial, just something that would deter the nature in this place. Just made it back. And we got the bikes back there, just cold started her up with the remote star on the ram. It's pretty awesome. So there it is. It was a good trip, a lot of miles. Probably about 17 probably. I'm saying you're probably going to do the Tour de France or whatever. Yeah, I think I'm qualified now. Abandoned vehicles, dude, not good. So yeah, man, crazy trips, more to come, probably going to double up the miles. I'm ready as long as it's all flat. Kentucky? Is that flat? I don't think so. Damn. Flat speed. All right, well, hopefully there's going to be a fishing trip for five hours into the night. Probably 35 degrees would be pretty awesome. Nah, we're just hitting the bars. What was I supposed to say? So yeah, man, crazy day. Don't forget about the subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. And have a great day.